thank you. We are already starting with the champagne. Brunching. This is what I like. Slow motion yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm loving it. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoying the art of the form. This is the starting brunch, and this is the way to start it off. Oh, cheers! To Las Vegas, I see. I mean, uh, unlimited bottomless champagne brunch. Here we go! Alright, let me give you a tour of the Sterling Brunch here in Las Vegas. This right here is the pinnacle of everything, what I live for. Look at all these lobster tails, just fresh and just so cute. And then all this Alaskan king crab legs. Lord, this is my heaven. Now, even if you want to switch it up from seafood, we have the fresh cut station right here. So we have crusted rack of lamb, some slab of bacon. Hey, handsome, I need um, two lamb bones rare. Side of the oyster, look at that blue point oyster. Our chef here is just refilling it up. Thank you. It looks so good. Yes, sir. Fresh oyster. Wow, that is beautiful. And then the beef. Jonah crab cloth and poached jumbo shrimp. We also have an egg and omelette station here where the chef will just whip it up for you fresh and on the go. And then for those breakfast lovers, some sausage, some bacon, some bread pudding French toast. Oh, this is good dessert! to this buffet. Look at this. Wow, 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 wow. Not to seafood, but to shellfish. And there's shell everywhere on this fish, and already I've popped in my medication, my little allergy medication to start this meal because I am not missing out. Mm. 
remember folks, when bottom weight scrunching, it is a marathon. So, we start with this guy. Sorry, not sorry, I'm just gonna rip this with my bare hands. Oh, look how gigantic this is! This is my favorite. I don't want to sound pretentious because my, I have a relative on the east coast of Canada who are always, when it's lobster season, send lobsters to my parents in Toronto and my mom would just grill it up, saute it and cook it. So ever since I was little, lobster is my favorite food and so whenever someone asks me what's your favorite food, I always have to feel like I'm, I have to change up the answer and say something not like more apologetic and be like, um, pasta. Even though I love pasta, but lobster is my favorite food. I just don't want to sound pretentious about it. And here we are with unlimited lobster tails. Mm. Wow. The calmness has washed over me. Wow, this is so juicy. And the meat is just so. Mm. This is. This is peak me. Like just if I die right now due to my allergies and my throat do close up if I don't take the allergy medication and I get hives everywhere. This product is meant for educational purposes only. Any resemblance to real persons, living or dead, is purely known. Void where prohibited. Some assembly required. Batteries not included. I'm pretty pretty happy. Like did they say. Mm. That you should live doing what you love doing. Oh, this is it. Eat it. Eating lobster. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, Hussy, there's. They provide this for our table. <laughs> so you don't have to struggle so much during our Lux Deluxe brunch. Crack it, crack it real good. Whoa, look at that Alaskan King crab leg. It's juicy. Oh my goodness, that's huge. For more than 30 years, the renowned Sterling Brunch at Bali has been a go-to stop for Vegas visitors, baby, and looking to surge and live a luxe life. Well, years after years now, Las Vegas tradition itself is enjoying the endless pours of Nikas Iraqi Champagne and a pinnacle of the Strip's most famously indulgent brunch here at the Sterling Brunch. I'm on my second lobster now. I love how as soon as we sat down to die, the champagne just came pouring from our waiter. Man, this is the iconic BLT signature Gruyere cheese flavored popovers. And the thing is, it's like you want to dig into this, but I'm going to have a little bite. The thing is, I want to save up some stomach room. It's all about strategy, baby. Okay, number three, number three, let's go. How's the crab fucking? Thank you, not experience in eating crab. Just it's it's the experience, you know? Yeah. Getting, yeah, getting your hands in there. Look at him all so proper with fork and knife. <laughs> Dipping in the butter. Yes. you get there, dude? I got a beef. Yeah. Some bread. And oh. Lobster ravioli. Lobster ravioli. Yeah. Hold up. Gotta try that. Oh my god, there's so much things. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, 
Yeah, look at that. Wow. It's a good serving turf. Yeah. Look at this cucumber sushi roll. What you got there? Well, on top of our unlimited oysters, lobster tail, king crab, we have caviar. And you know how he loves some caviar? Let's see. Just gonna get a little smidge. So just to try it out. Let's see what the flavor is like on by itself. Can you taste this? It almost like bubbles on my tongue. And it is taking me back to that summer when I was seven on the east coast of Halifax on a boat rocking away fishing with my father in the ocean. Just because of the sea feeling that's coming back to it. Now that's what I call tapia. Okay, and I couldn't help myself because these oysters are just humongous. Look at this. Can I compare it to my palm? It's bigger than the size of my palm. My fingers are just poking out a little bit. Four different types of creme brulee. Yeah, I'm just gonna go pop over to look at it now. How does it taste? We can't forget that they have a whole bar right here dedicated to making your own customized Caesar. So bloody Caesar right here with the bacon, celery. Oh. for the both of us, including tax and tip. Was it worth it? Ooh, every single cent and tip. 